Today's Captain's Blog is made possible entirely by a grant from Andrew DeMarsh. Thank you, sir, for helping out and being a part of the insanity here. So what's up, Moose? Nothing. So, I posted the labels of these yesterday. Uh-huh. And we've had these for years. I got these from the same guy who donated those, and they just came as part of the set. Yeah. And I noticed something about these yesterday that I never noticed before. What's that? The voltage rating is 1,200 volts. Okay. It's way too low for anything we do. Gotcha. And they take up a huge amount of space, and we can't use them. My original plan was to use these as a, uh, a reactor filter for a big DC Tesla coil. Uh huh. But since the voltage is so low, we can't do anything with them. But I happen to need to engineer a 15 kilovolt pass through that wall. And these happen to have a set of nice, really big bushings on them. So. My job today is to recover the bushings, and then we'll scrap these because they're useless to us. Plus, we'll get a whole like 60 cents a ton for them at bad nose. They're not worth the shit and scrap. Yeah, but they don't cost anything to get rid of either. Yep, yep. And the space out here, especially in the, in the outdoor high voltage cage, is definitely at a premium. Let's see if it's the tool you need. I got skills. Oh wow, that's pretty. That is a fucking big inductor. Wow. That's the biggest I've ever seen. Look at you. God. Damn, that's a core. Now the question is, oh yes, we can, we can. It won't even be hard. The bushings are ours. How about that take hell of a lot more than two kilovolts sitting there under oil? Or 1200 volts. All right, well, that's that. Hey, does anybody out there need about a hundred gallons of clean, clear transform oil condition service. Judging. We'll be back. I don't think he's gonna. I've seen one flip over uh, backwards, actually. Have you? Yeah. I've only ever seen one that tipped over sideways. No, loading dock, truck you gotta, move. You gotta swing that out. Huh? You gotta swing that, the boat out, or else this will never work. Come at me, bro. Be boomed all the way back so you're boomed forward, it will catch. Move. Do it! Ah, oh, shit, you made it. It was way more fun yesterday when you didn't make it. That was. That was the first. That, that was forgot, entertainment. I forgot how much you gotta give it. You gotta give her what for? Hey, Joey, grab that sling, please. Now, the question is, how am I going to get out of here with the transformer in my hand? You're driving. Because uh, i got to go over the shed to get out. I think those power lines are a little low.
Fingers. Fingers good? You got it. So Joey's going to make a barbecue. These are a little heavier. Yeah, these are heavier than the other ones. It's like there's more oil in them or something. There's more steel in them. More free energy. So you got a barbecue set up with the radiators. Like a, that'd just be an oven. No, man. What you do is you put this on the side of a, like you build a hot tub here, and then you got dinner and a date right there. So can we do something mm. before we haul these down? Can we take the parts I need off them before you drop it and fuck them up? Okay. Might fuck up the vents, but we don't care about those now. Okay. Well, let's take them over by the garage where we have all the tools, so it'll be easy. Um, you make it. All the brake. Oh, yeah. And the damn. Scrape a little. You're down. You made it. Yay. Whee! That was. That's fine. Everything's fine. I see we got we got a little tap on the bottom. We can make the biggest Kool-Aid container ever. That tastes great. So are we really putting this? Why not? I don't care. You're gonna fuck up your truck. No, I won't. I don't think your truck's got the stones for that much weight. You got the good insurance, yeah. right? Okay. Well, that sits it right down. You want to scoot that in some more, maybe? Huh? We're just going around to the parking lot. You're going to try and get it home, though. Probably not to get your insulators and stuff. Right? Okay. So first, I got to devise That's... a way to get it off at home. <laughs> you just got to drive around like that for the winter. Well, what you got to do, you put a diesel in it and you run off the oil in there. Yeah, it's just a big fuel tank. That's a good idea. You have a convertible shed now. <laughs> uh, I have a hole now. I like holes. I like space. That's oh, good. We gotta burn it off though. Farm. Yeah, the farm's not its home. People, it's a common misconception. Larry couldn't get that one figured out. Well, yeah, but Larry's still trying to learn his colors. I'm out. Because this one I'm carrying around, we're not loading it, so let's get it closer to me. Oh, you want it up on you? Well, I'm just gonna hit you when you go on the ramp. I yeah. Bit, but... You good there? Chuck it in there real nice. And... Don't break that wall. This is gonna be a good time. Pork is really well lubricated. Try to be a little bit further from the post that's, this that's time. I'm, <laughs> I'm a lot further from the post. Okay. Oh god. Oh, you're lucky. How you feeling there? Uh, what's he saying? Needle with a jackhammer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Want to make sure you lock it this time, Mr. Sausage Arms? I locked it last time. No, you didn't. You, it was you didn't. We, we came out here like, motherfucker, didn't well, lock. You watched how long I spent trying to lock it. It was funny, too. And it didn't even succeed.
it's locked. He did it. See, sausage arms made it happen. Goes, you gotta teach him something about leaf springs, bring him out. Luckily, you have bump stops on there. So, uh, we gonna take that out and redo it, or? Okay. We're gonna have to take it out anyway to get all your stuff out of it. No, you can do it right from top. Just pull that cover off. Are you scrapping them? Yeah. What are those weight of these? A lot. Pull it out. Probably like 1,500 pounds. You got it. Don't, go Don't put them right in front of each other. Because uh, you got to get into it. Yeah, Today's Captain's Blog is made possible entirely by a grant from Andrew DeMarsh. Thank you, sir, for helping out and being a part of the insanity here.